Songs, puppets, fun and mime. Welcome to the story time. Hello, Augustians. So today's story is from the House of Pratham Books, and the book is called Lion on the Loose, written by Paro Anand, illustrated by Avishek Sen. Let's get started. Once it started raining, and it was raining so hard that it just wouldn't stop. The sky wept great tears in an endless stream until the clouds had entered everyone's hearts and made them feel as grey and weepy as the weather. But still, it rained on and on. Everyone stayed at home, gloomy and bored. I wish we could do something, moaned Geeti. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, said Vicky. Mummy wouldn't let them go out, but she tried to cheer them up by making hot, crisp pakoras for them. The children helped too, cutting the potatoes, onions, spinach and cauliflower. The pakoras were yummy. They ate them hot with spicy green chutney. And soon the children were bursting full. The children now stood at the window. I wonder what the animal and birds do when it's raining so much. They must be cooped up in their cages, said Winnie. No, silly, I mean the wild ones, the tiger in the jungle, the birds on the trees. What do they do in all this rain? Mitu said, at least they are free. Think of the animals in the zoo. How awful for them. And it was true. The animals in the zoo were worried and irritable. The wetness was terrible for the creatures, big and small. The more it rained, the more everything filled up with water. And the moat around the lion's enclosure filled up with water too. The lion watched. He was an old fellow who had never been out of the enclosure. He had never seen so much rain before. He was... He was just restless. He sniffed here and he sniffed there. He put one pot delicately into the water and then with one big breath he jumped right in. At first he sank. Then he panicked. Oh, he thought for one awful moment that he was going to die, but he didn't. His mighty head popped up and he paddled along until he could feel the wall just under his chin. And putting his big paws onto the wall, he heaved himself up with force and then he was out out and free, free to walk around the world, just as he had seen hundreds of people do. No one saw him for it was night and all the zookeepers were fast asleep. Lion walked out. Softly he crept on padded feet to the enclosure next to him. He grinned at the bear, who awoke with a start. He winked at him <laughs> and laughed softly. He looked in at all the cages and thought how wonderful it was to be free. Then he had an idea. What is the freedom if he was still within the four walls of the zoo? So asking for the way at every cage he passed, Lion reached the main gate. He could smell a human. He carefully peered into the ticket booth. Lion was a clever old fellow and knew that the guard wouldn't let him just walk out. So he waited and watched. The guard didn't move. He snored <sighs> gently. When Lion was sure that the man was fast asleep, he padded his way past him softly. Hmm, hmm, said the guard in his sleep. Lion almost roared in fright, but he did not. He waited quietly until he was sure that all was safe, and then he was free, really free, for the first time in his life. He walked around looking with wonder at the big black wet roads. He stared up at the high buildings and he sniffed at the people huddled up asleep in the driest corners they could find. One little child looked out of the blanket and said, Papa, there's a lion on the loose. And the sleepy Papa said, Yes, yes, he'll go away. Now get back to sleep. Imagine, your dad will keep sleeping, Augustians, if you told him that. Maybe yes, because he would think that you are joking. <laughs> Come back to the story. And Lion went on. 
This was the longest walk that he had ever had. He was in the bazaar now. But of course, everyone was fast asleep. It was night time. He walked on and on and on and on and on and on until he caught the smell of yummy fried pakoras. He had never smelled anything so invitingly warm. And he found the window to Geeti and Vicky's room open. Quickly, quietly, he jumped right in. He saw the children asleep in their soft, warm beds. He wanted to get in with them, but then first he wanted to smell and eat the pakoras. Of course, with his sharp lion's nose, he found the pakoras. And with his sharp lion's teeth, he quickly chomped them up. They were delicious. He licked the plate clean. And now to bed. He went back to the room and he tried to get into Vicky's bed, but it was too small for one big lion. Then he tried snuggling into Geeti's bed, but it was too small for one big lion. So he crawled under the bed and found it wonderfully cozy and just right for one big lion. Soon he was fast asleep. Next morning, Mummy woke up to find her pakoras missing. Mm, Vicky, Kitty, did you eat all the pakoras last night? No, Mummy, not at all. Don't lie to me, children. Who else could it be? Ah, it must have been the lion who ate them, Mama. Lion? What lion? Giti, don't be silly. She is not being silly. There is a lion under our bed, said Vicky. What? shouted Mummy as loudly as she could. And then she rushed away to look. And there was indeed a lion. Oh, children, you gave me a fright. Of course, there's no lion there. But there was, Mummy. Look, there are lion paw prints on the carpet. And a big wet patch on our beds. And lion hair on my sheet. Mummy had to believe them then. But try as they might, they couldn't find the lion anywhere. And do you know why? Lion had had a good snooze and had decided to get back to his cage before there was any fuss. So he slipped away at dawn and no one saw him going. Except the same little boy in a blanket who had seen him earlier. The little boy patted Lion's nose and thought, Grown-ups never believe us children. So I'm not going to tell anyone that the lion was taking a walk tonight. <laughs> what do you think, Augustians? Do grown-ups believe us? I don't know. But in the story, the lion went back to his cage. Maybe next time when it rains very hard, lion may come to your house to eat the pakoras. That's the story of Lion on the Loose, Augustians. Did you enjoy the story? Did you have fun? What will you do if you see a lion walking on the road one day? Think about it. Until next time. Ta-da, Augustians. Bye-bye.